Good evening everybody. Click with a fork here. Back to do a pasta dish. This is video number 19. So it's a simple um, pasta, tomato and basil uh, pasta bake that's going to get fired in the oven. So before you start, get your oven on, get it set at 200. Uh, get a big bowl, a big pot of heavily salted uh, water on the boil and an additional frying pan. Bring it to the heat. I'm going to start off by frying some onions, some garlic and some chilli. So we're going to start this with extra virgin oil, which is, you know, it's a bit, you normally just use this for salads and so on, but it works better with this, the extra virgin. So I'm just some extra virgin olive oil. And just finely chop one whole white tomato. Now this is for four to five people. It's a traditional dish eaten all over Italy, but more commonly in the in the, um, the sort of middle, around about Rome, Tuscany. You can, this is the, this is probably the easiest thing I've done. So everybody have a go at it. It's, it's so it's really basic. So chop up your onion and fire it into your frying pan. So basically just making a, a tomato based sauce here. Just saute that off. Then just chop up your garlic. So three cloves of garlic. Just dried red chilli. I've got one and a half here. Just chop that up. You can soak this if you want, but it's fine going in dry. The moisture from the passata and the tomatoes will soon soften it up. If you want to add more and make it hotter, you can do. With my friend Johnny Dunn, you could add naga to this. So there you go. And with the chilli. If you're not going to put any colour on this, you're just going to soften it. Then I'm your garlic. Clears your board. Right, so the pasta. Um, got, this is a, a kind of conch shells. Conchellini, I think it's called. Um, normally they make it in Rome uh, with um, or orchietti, which is the small ears, but I'm, I don't have any, so you can make it with any part. You can make it with penny. So there's 500 grams here, and that's uh, enough for four or five. Just give this a wee stir. So the next thing we're going to use is uh, muti polpa and muti uh, passata. And once again, my good friend Guy Vincent Cowan said this is the best. So we're going to give it a go using, I've made, I made it before with just any tomato, just normal tomatoes to be honest. But I'm going to give it a go with these three products, or two products. This is quite a basic dish, so, you know, there's not, there's only tomato sauce, some basil, some mozzarella, some parmesan. So I, I would try and just get the best products you can get. So this is going along fine. So in your tomatoes. Two tins. I'm not going to put all of this in. I'm going to hold some back and I'll show you why later on. So you're going to cook this through for 10 to 15 minutes. So, well, I'll, I'll do it quicker than that, so I'll just speed up a little bit. So we're going to bake this up and bake it in the oven. So your pasta says 12 minutes, but do it for 9 to 10 and keep it a little bit al dente. Let's 
plenty. Hold that back in case we need some water. Okay, so buffalo, buffalo mozzarella. Again, buy proper buffalo mozzarella. Don't buy that cheap crap stuff, cheap stuff you get from the Netherlands or... This is from Italy. You can get great Scottish buffalo mozzarella. I think there's two people producing it now. You get it online. This has all been bought online. The tomatoes were bought online. The mozzarella was bought online. So we'll probably use three or four. So we'll keep up with this one in the container just in case we don't use it. So this is bobbling along. I can't forget to say, if anybody's got any questions, just stick a comment on the um, link that takes you from The Last Supper in Facebook to um, YouTube. So just give your pasta a little stir. Boil your pasta in plenty of water and it won't all stick together. Just give it space to move about and room to not stop it sticking together. It's coming fine. So just chop up some basil. Time for a slurp. Cheers, everybody. Oh, beer amaretti. Thank you, Italy. Right, this is coming along fine. Another two minutes. Yeah, strainer at the ready. So this is about four handfuls of grated parmesan. Again, buy nice parmesan. And you just use a microplane to grate it. You can grate it on a normal grater if you haven't got one of these, but a microplane is perfect. It's nice. You see a bit of salt. A bit of black pepper. Lots of black pepper. So if you keep this moving about, it won't splatter as much. Again, you don't want it getting too thick, you want it to keep it relatively loose. Because your cheese that you're going to put in the dish will help bind it all together. Just give your pasta a quick mix. So that's about five minutes. So this is the dish we're going to put this in. So there's about maybe six, five, six portions in here. Again, keep it moving and it will not splatter. So if any of my Italian friends uh, on the group have any tips, feel free. But even just to make as a, as a tomato sauce and just keep it for making just simple tomato pasta dishes with chicken or prawns or... Coming along fine. And again, if anybody's got any requests, fire them at me and I'll have a go. If 
can tackle a mashy man curry, I can have a go at anything, I think. A lot of feedback from the mashy man curry, a lot of folk made it and said it was great. As was, as was the um, Mother India butter chicken, that's come down a storm. Okay, that's doing well. So I'm going to drop in a dash of sherry vinegar. So sherry vinegar or red wine vinegar, just a dash. Turn it in a wee bit. Furious. Give your pasta a wee mix. Multitasking here, guys and girls. You're even making a vegetarian lasagna. You can use this and just add um, roasted red peppers. Right, looking good. Right, it's your mozzarella. We're just going to cut up a few slices. Again, this is another one of these dishes that's always better the next day. Make it on a rainy Sunday night and have it for Monday when you come from work. Fantastic. Slurp. In fact, it's time for a refill. Bear with me. raise a glass to uh, the, the supplier of this um, apron, James Brown. Thanks for thanks for being happy happy 50th birthday. Right, this is looking good. Give a little taste. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You could blitz that and eat his soupy crusty bread. There is an Italian dish, um, bread soup. They just take stale, crusty bread and cook it through a tomato sauce, not dissimilar to this, um, and it's, it's superb. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think they're good to go. That's probably about eight or nine minutes. So I'm going to drain them off. into your pot. Quickly add some of your passata. Just give it a stir round. And that'll keep them loose while you finish your sauce. I'll just give them a quick knock about. Okay. Right, we're good to go to finish this off. Now you can take the tomato off the heat. 
wipe down. Right, so build the dish. Take your dish, your serving dish. So take some of your tomato mixture and add it to your pasta. shells break them up separate them so you want to put about half of it in it should be a bit right and just separate them they tend to climb inside each other, so just split them up. Great flavour. Teaspoon. As I say, you can do this with penny or pretty much any pasta that's got holes in it that will hold the sauce. So split them up, get them all nice and even. You can do this when it cools down. That'll be a bit easier. You just take some more of your sauce and just sprinkle it on the top. See that's about half yet. Yeah. And what's up? Oh, bit of basil. A few pieces of mozzarella. That will melt and fall into the little pockets. Come on, anybody can make this. Have a go at it. I want to see a few examples. Do it. Nice big handful of parmesan. No, sorry, not a ketchup. Conchina. Just fire them in. Let's speed it up, taking too long. If you don't, if you're not used to touching hot food, leave it to cool down. Almost there. Nice and rustic, that's how you want it. Then finish up your sauce. Come back. I 
One mozzarella, that's a bit more basil. One mozzarella. I'm just going to use that last one. Just spread it all over. Almost done. Two minutes. Parmesan. Again, this is going to get stuck further in the oven for about half an hour. And again, once I've done that, we'll upload the video and post a picture. Okay, so that's that done. The rest of your sauce, just drizzle it all over. A great dish, kids would love this as well. Just finish with that, your passata you've got left. Drizzle your olive oil. And finish with some more basil. There you go. Job done, folks. As I said, come on, have a go. Post it up, see if anybody's brave enough to do it on video. Once you get used to it, it's not, it's not that bad. So have a go at it everybody, and thanks for watching, and uh, salute.